so yeah. All right, so this is as true as we're gonna get this. So I'm gonna start turning this down um, to 500, uh, I'm sorry, to 498. All right, so I turned, I turned this down to um, 498 off camera. It's just a simple turning operation. Um, took a few passes, got that nice. Now I got dial indicator set up here. And um, this is going to be this is going to be hard to do with the camera rolling, but um, got to make a series of cuts. The piston has got to be quarter inch overall length, um, and then there's going to be a fifty thousandths of an inch groove, uh, two fifty two grooves each fifty thousandths wide by. Um, uh, well, the overall diameter here is the inside diameter is going to be 390. So we got to take that down um, 498, about 54 thousandths in. Um, so it's going to be a 50 thousandths uh, land, uh, then a 50 thousandths groove, another 50 thousandths land, another 50 thousandths groove. And then the final 50,000 land will give us the 250,000 overall length. Now the cutoff bit I have in here is 40,000, so I'm going to have to um, make two cuts in to give me the 50,000 uh, groove. Um, like I said, I have my dial indicator set up, and I'm going to use that uh, to indicate how much uh, travel um, I will um, uh, come across. I'll use my cross uh, feed dial uh, to tell me how deep I'm going. Um, I'm going to try to do this on camera. Um, I got to move some things around a bit. Um, let me see how it works. This is very awkward to work on the lathe and record this at the same time. So let me change a couple of things around with camera positioning and I'll bring you back when I have a, a, a decent setup. All right, so I moved, I don't know if you could, uh, this is very difficult to do here with the camera in a way. Uh, okay, so I moved this in, the blade is, uh, the cutoff blade is 40 thousandths thick. I need 50 thousandths uh, space between the edge, between the face of this and the, um, and, and the inner edge, the first edge of the groove. So I brought it in 90 thousandths according to the dial indicator. I'm going to plunge in um, 50, 54 thousandths deep. I'm going to back out, move it another 10 thousandths over. Because don't forget the, the cutoff blade's 40. I need the groove to be 50. Move it over. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to double check my figures and move it again for the second groove. Okay, so here it goes. Okay, so I moved the uh, carriage over another 90, so that gives me, um, move it 40 for the thickness of the cutter, uh, for the cutoff tool, and then move it 50. So I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to bring it down and uh, back it out and make move it another 10 over and widen the slot. Alright, well, has luck with heaven once again. 
uh, my little memory card was full, so I don't know how much I lost on it or whatever. But, um, all right. All you missed was I center drilled this piece. I got my 332nd drill bit in there. I got drilled this in. Um, I got my makeshift uh, digital readout from my uh, tail stock here. I'm going to go in about um, 3 eighths of an inch. Um, so when I part it off, it'll be all clear on that. So, all right, let's get rolling. see this um, so the piston is done they got the two rings on there and um, this is done now so uh, things are shaping up uh, all right so uh, 